you're going to be learning about how to choose the most effective and safe drugs for your healthcare dollar. A few housekeeping things before we do get started with the webinar. You will all remain on listen only for the duration of the presentation. If you have any questions um, for our presenter or for me, um, you can go ahead and type them into the your control panel in the questions bar at any time during the webinar, and we will um, answer, do a question and answer portion at the end of the presentation. So again, anytime you have questions and you think of them, you can always type them into your questions bar in your control panel, and we will answer questions at the end. Um, you will be able to get in touch um, with me at the end of the webinar if you want a copy of the slides. You also um, will be able to view a recording of the webinar. That should be available on the Needy Meds website, um, probably the latest by Friday of this week, but probably in the next few days we'll have that available, um, the recording available of the webinar. So without further ado, we will get started. My name is Elizabeth Messenger. I'm the Director of Outreach and Education here at Needy Meds. Today we're really excited to be having, co-presenting a webinar with Consumer Reports Best Buy Drugs. You may have noticed in the past um, few months that you've seen some of their information up on our website. We do have a partnership and you may notice next to them of some of the medications, some more information provided by Consumer Reports. And uh, we're going to be talking about that a little bit today, but we're excited to be partnering and working together to share more information and resources with you. So, Today we have Ginger Skinner presenting. She's an associate writer for Consumer Reports Best Buy Drugs. She has worked for Best Buy Drugs since the project's early days and currently writes primarily about drug safety issues and manages the project's social media efforts. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and let Ginger take it away. And again, we will do some question and answer at the end of the presentation. So Ginger? Hi, thank you, Elizabeth. Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining today's webinar. Um, as Elizabeth said, I am Ginger Skinner from uh, Best Buy, an associate writer with Best Buy Drugs, and I'm glad to be presenting today on lowering your medication costs. Let's begin. Many Americans, even those who have insurance coverage, spend more than they need to on prescription medications. Those who regularly take a prescription drug spent an average of $758 a year, according to a 2012 Consumer Reports Best Buy Drugs annual prescription drug poll. What's more, consumers are facing major challenges affording their medication. According to our prescription drug poll in 2012, 59% of Americans under age 65 84% of uninsured Americans under age 65 have taken an action to reduce their drug costs. Some of those actions include spending less on groceries, spending less on their families, using their credit cards more often, and postponing paying other bills just so they can afford to pay for their medications. How do we come in? Well, Consumer Reports Best Buy Drugs is a public education project that offers unbiased, evidence-based drug information and provides consumers with a trusted resource for help in choosing the best, most affordable medications. The project informs consumers about drug choices, provides recommendations, we call those best buys, based on safety, effectiveness, and cost, and promotes conversations between consumers and their healthcare providers. We provide reports and information on all these conditions and more. So you'll see on this list we have allergies, asthma, heart attacks, high cholesterol, um, migraine. So there are numerous conditions here and some that we couldn't fit on this slide. Best Buy Drugs helps consumers by translating complicated scientific studies comparing drugs, including drug costs and recommendations, disseminating to the public for free, and guiding both consumers and healthcare providers to make decision based, decisions based on science and not based on advertising and marketing. Why do we do this? Because we polled consumers, and we found out that consumers want to know about risk, they want to be offered options, and they want to know about costs when it comes to their prescription drugs and other healthcare. So how do we get started? 
will first begin by visiting www.crbestbydrugs.org. That link will take you to this page. It's our homepage for Best Buy Drugs. And you'll see that it's under consumerreports.org, a brand that you may already be familiar with. Once you reach that page, you can search Best Buy Drug Reports by condition, drug name, or drug category. For example, if you select high cholesterol, you'll be directed to the drug report page for statins, which are cholesterol-lowering drugs. All drug report pages offer a summary of recommendations, including lifestyle changes, and potential risks to discuss with your doctor, plus best buys based on effectiveness, safety, and cost. In addition, if you click on the Compare Drugs tab, you'll see drug prices in each drug category, dosing information, best buys, and more. Based on effectiveness, safety, and cost, for high cholesterol, Best Buy Drugs recommends generic lovastatin or provastatin if you need to lower your bad cholesterol by less than 30%. Generic simvastatin if LDL reduction of 30% or more is needed and or if you have heart disease or diabetes or if you've had a heart attack or have acute coronary syndrome with normal LDL levels. And we also recommend generic atorvastatin if you have had a heart attack or have acute coronary syndrome with highly elevated LDL. So that's an example of the information you'll get by clicking on Best Buy Drugs Report. In addition to the pages I just showed you, for each drug category, there are also free comprehensive downloadable reports. Here's an example of one of those downloadable reports for high cholesterol and heart disease. These reports provide an in-depth look at each drug category and the evidence behind Best Buy Drug Treatment recommendations. And these reports help you start a conversation with your doctor about the best treatments, not just for your condition, but also for your wallet. In addition to those reports, Best Buy Drug also offers cost-saving analysis and tips. Here's one of our most recent reports, Surprising Ways to Cut Your Drug Costs, in which we recommend some tips on how to cut your drug costs. For example, trying an OTC drug rather than a prescription drug for some problems, not automatically using your insurance, taking advantage of the new healthcare law, asking for the lowest available price at your pharmacy, using your insurer's preferred pharmacy or mail order service, and considering treatment in stages. We also offer drugstore comparisons. Here in our pharmacy study, we took a look at various retail prices and found that Costco was the least expensive overall, and a few independent pharmacies came in even cheaper. In addition, the online retailers healthwarehouse.com and familymeds.com also had very low prices. But in terms of all the retailers, CVS, Rite Aid, and Target had the highest prices. We also offer risks versus benefits reports on off-label drugs, drug safety updates, and money-saving guides to share with your healthcare provider. Here you'll see one on prescription assistance programs, where we walk you through what a PAP is, and how and and how you can be find out if you're eligible for one. All Best Buy Drugs resources are available in English and Spanish. Consumer Reports publishes an annual Best Drugs for Less magazine. And we recently launched the mobile version of that magazine, free and designed for both iPhone and iPad. You can find it on iTunes.com. You get the same information you would get from the Best Drugs for Less magazine just at your fingertips. 
and it highlights, for example, six ways to save on the drugs you need and OTC versus prescription medication. Best Buy Drugs also offers a free monthly e-newsletter to keep you up to date on the best drugs for your condition, drug safety issues, and off-label drug use. Thanks to a partnership with NeedyMeds, you can now access Consumer Reports Best Buy Drugs recommendations on NeedyMeds.org. You simply search for the medications you're taking and click on the Drug Info logo for that drug. Here we selected the ACE inhibitor, Acupril, and we clicked on Drug Info. And it took us to this page. It's the Drug Report Summary page for that drug. We also we're able to access the drug pricing information, including see our best buys. Finally, here are some examples of pot potential savings based on Best Buy drug recommendations. For heartburn, you can save $225 per month by switching from Nexium to Omeprazole, the generic of Prilosec OTC. For joint pain, you can save $177 per month by switching from Celebrex to Naproxen, the generic of Aleve. And finally, for seasonal allergies, you can save $113 per month by switching from Zizol to Loratadine, the generic of Claritin. Interested in learning more? Please visit www.crbestbydrugs.org. Follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, sign up for our free monthly e-newsletter, or contact our principal investigator, Doris Peter, at dpeter at consumer.org, or by phone at 914-378-2977. That concludes our presentation, and now I'll take it back to Elizabeth so that we can open up for questions. Great. Thank you so much, Ginger. Um, You're welcome. If you would please like to start typing in some questions, we will go ahead and answer as many as we can get to. So in your questions bar in your control panel. We did have a question about the slides. Um, you all will, should be getting, will be getting an email with my contact information. You can always um, email me to get a copy of the slides. I can provide those to you. Um, if you want to just write that email down now, it would just be elizabeth at needymeds.org. So that's E-L-I-Z-A-B-E-T-H at needymeds.org, and I'll be happy to provide you a copy of Ginger's slides. Um, I did just want to mention again that you will, as Ginger mentioned, be able to see a lot of this information on the Needy Meds website, so you can keep a lookout for that. We also have been um, helping to share their information um, by sending out their booklets, so it's possible if you've requested our brochures and drug discount cards in the past, or if you plan to, you'll get some of those booklets in the mail as well to pass out to either those that you are serving or for your own use um, as well, so you can watch out for that. We're really excited to be able to be working with Consumer Reports, and it's important to us to be able to share as much information and as many resources that are out there to help people with their medications and healthcare costs. This is a really great resource to know about. Okay, so we will start getting to some questions. Um, Ginger, I'm not sure how much you know about this, but there's a question about um, those who are on a Medicare uh, Part D plan or Medicare Advantage, um, ways to cut their costs without having to take expensive medications. Any thoughts on that? Hmm, what's it? Can you repeat that question? Um, those who are on Medicare with a Part D plan or on Medicare Advantage, how can they cut their costs of a drug without having to stop taking the expensive medications? Any thoughts? Well, I don't, I don't have any information specifically. This is something that I could follow up with the person about, but I would say um, a good thing to do is to work with your doctor um, to ask about generic alternatives. If you are, if you have been prescribed uh, sort of pricier brand name drugs, and the best thing to do is to speak with your doctor, have a heart to heart about costs, and um, just really ask your doctor if there are generic alternatives that are just as safe and effective. So that would be step one, and that would be step one for anyone is, you know, this, this information we provide is not information to replace your doctor's advice, 
but it is information that can be used as a guide in talking to your doctor. And I would also encourage the person who asked the question to visit our website, www.crbestbydrugs.org, and just to, um, you know, whatever condition they have, to, to click on that condition or to click on the drug that they, they're taking, and they'll be able to see that we offer alternatives and advice on opening up that conversation with their doctor. Yeah, and I would also add, you know, you can always use the Media Meds website as a resource as well. Right. Um, there are some patient assistance programs for those with Medicare, not a ton, but there are, they are out there. And we have, um, if you go to our diagnosis-based assistance section, um, kind of after talking to your doctor, maybe you're still looking for help with affording your costs, you can go to that section of our website, look up your condition, you might be able to find a group or foundation that will help cover those costs. So. There are resources out there. I think it's just important, as Andrew said, to have open conversations with your doctor um, and kind of look at all of the resources that are out there, including our website and the Consumer Reports Best Buy Drugs website. Right. Um, okay, so the next question is, does um, your website, Ginger, uh, information take into account the different insurance plans and Medicare plans? So again, I guess looking up resources specific to type of plan, can you do that? <clears throat> no, it doesn't really. There are, within the, the larger downloadable comprehensive reports, there is information on what's covered and what's not. Um, and again, it's another convers a way to open up that conversation with your doctor. But we don't really offer, and I think these questions are really good and timely, um, being that tomorrow it starts um, the open enrollment, so I can understand where these questions are coming from. Um, but we don't offer specific information on plans. However, if you wanted to dig a little deeper on the Consumer Reports website, um, there is an insurance section. So I, I would highly encourage anyone who's interested in knowing um, a little bit more about uh, Part D or any other insurance issues to visit, the, to go to consumerreports.org and to click on health and insurance, and there's information under the insurance tab. But as far as Best Buy drugs, it's mostly going to just um, evaluate the safety and effectiveness of the drugs you're taking and then help guide your conversation with your health care provider. Great. Thank you. Um, so there's a question about if the, you do any connection, uh, helping patients connect with people with the same condition. Maybe you do it on your social media or on your website anywhere. I think the best place for that would be Twitter. Um, mm -hmm. We have a pretty engaged community there of, of like-minded um, people, well, people like us as well as consumers. And we um, we do something, we do a news, uh, I guess it could be blog post um, under the hashtag Ask the Pharmacist. So we ask people, um, consumers who are interested in learning more about drug prices or have questions about the medication they're taking or safety concerns, we uh, tweet out the hashtag ask the pharmacist and ask you to tweet us back with that same hashtag with any questions you have. We can either answer those questions via Twitter and in other cases um, we answer those questions by a blog post because we think that it's something that would be of concern to our larger online community. So we definitely encourage um, questions via Twitter. Our handle is at CR Best Buy Drugs. And also, if you search Facebook for Consumer Reports Best Buy Drugs, you'll find our Facebook page. And we encourage the same um, questions and concerns there. And we respond pretty quickly, or as quickly as we can, um, taking into account that we also have to check with our medical advisors and make sure we're giving the most accurate information possible. Great. Um, there's a question about um, cancer-specific drugs. Do you have a section of the, for that on your on the website? We don't yet. It's I'm not sure if it's in it's planned. Um, it's a highly complicated area for us, and we don't yet. It's not to say that we won't touch on that, but no, for now. Okay. Um, there's a question, I think it was about a slide, I'm trying to um, see here. Um, did you have a slide about strategies to control Rx costs? 
Hmm. Should I go sure. back or? Um, no, it's okay. Yeah. Why don't you just that person? Why don't you just um, go <laughs> ahead and you can email me and I can pass the question along to Ginger. Um, we're just not quite sure what you mean there. Um, okay. I actually had a question, Ginger. How did um, Best Buy Drugs get started? How did Consumer Reports kind of decide that they were going to start this kind of branch of Consumer Reports? Okay, yeah. So uh, Consumer Reports launched in, um, we're located in New York, but we also have a Washington, D.C. office, which is more um, of our office that houses a lot of our advocacy work. So Consumer Reports Best Buy Drugs started as a very small uh, project in D.C., an advocacy project, working with state pilot programs and sort of working with um, closely with outreach um, for sort of older Americans on multiple medications. And um, then the program moved to New York a few years later, and we got a larger staff, which is always a good thing. And um, we were lucky to partner with some um, amazing, amazing like-minded organizations, um, which of course includes Needy Meds. Um, and we started working with experts from the Drug Effectiveness Review Project, which is also known as DERP, and that's based in Oreg at the Oregon Health and Science University. So we don't actually do the research in-house. We um, we work with um, experts at DERP, and DERP analyzes hundreds of studies on given classes of drugs to, to treat various conditions. Um, as far as the pricing, um, those, the pricing data is provided by Walters Kluwer, Kluwer Pharma Solutions. And um, we also uh, use data from the American Society of Health Systems Pharmacists. So, Best Buy Drugs is an extremely collaborative project, um, which, you know, wouldn't be what it is without a number of experts and um, other nonprofits and, um, and a lot of times our topics are consumer driven. Um, if we have, we have questions from consumers, we, um, may take a deeper look and realize that this is an area of need and, and produce a report around that. So we do encourage, um, your questions and your feedback, um, via, you know, Twitter, Facebook, our newsletter, and, um, uh, of course, you see here Doris Peter, who's our principal investigator, is another person that you can contact with questions. So, yeah, okay. I think that answers it. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of went all the way back. <laughs> um, okay, well, it doesn't seem like we have any more questions. I'll give everyone another minute. Again, um, you will get a, my contact information in an email if you'd like to request a copy of the slides. The recording of the webinar will be up on our videos page on our website as well as our Needy Meds YouTube page probably again in the next few days, definitely by the end of the week, so you can always um, check that out. We do, um, Needy Meds does regular webinars each month, so you can go to our webinar page to register for upcoming sessions. They're always free. Um, we do monthly webinars going over our resources as well as special topic webinars like we had today where we have another co-presenter come in and talk about the kind of resources and programs they're offering folks. So with that, um, let's see. Oh, there's a question about getting your um, Best Buy Drugs brochures. So we do um, give out the booklets. So if you requested some materials from us, we could certainly send you some of um, some of their booklets. And um, Ginger, I don't know if they should contact Doris for additional materials of yours. Right, you can contact uh, Doris for that information. Some of the information, um, like for example, the reports, there are uh, longer reports as well as two-page reports that you can download from the site. If you have a printer, you can just print those out yourself. But if you're interested in, say, like the Best Drugs for Less magazine um, or any other materials, the best thing to do would be to shoot Doris Peter an email. Okay, great. And yeah, I'm sure they'll be happy to send those out to you. And as probably some of you know, we're always happy to send out our materials as well. So you can always get in touch with that. Or if you have any needy med specific questions, you can always get in touch with me. So um, I appreciate you all attending this webinar. I hope that it was helpful and informative for you. And I hope you all have a wonderful afternoon. So thank you very much. Bye-bye. Thank you, everyone. Bye.